Hello everyone. We all have heard countless stories of UFO sightings from all over the world. Unidentified flying objects are a fact of reality and people are wondering what they really are. I have a theory that could explain what UFOs really are. Let's keep in mind that we live in a terrarium shaped world. This world is, in my opinion, a farming enterprise of gigantic proportions. This is a manned facility and the UFOs are the vessels of the personnel. I can think of a few different tasks that would need to be performed in order to keep this terrarium farm running. This enormous facility has different departments and each department has its own personnel. Each department is responsible for the operating of its own stations. Let me give you a few examples. The sun is one such station which requires operators. Also maintenance is being performed now and then on the sun. We have more than enough evidence of that. We have all seen the sun blinking phenomena. Another one is black spot in the center of the sun. I can advise people who haven't heard of these phenomena to see YouTube videos. Plenty of footage is out there to see. I think that it's more than evident that those activities involve personnel that has the specific knowledge and hardware to perform such duties. The UFOs are the transport vehicles of that personnel and some of the UFOs are the actual machines that are being brought to perform the different tasks of maintenance. Other example are the underground furnaces that produce lava and therefore terrain. There is also operating staff and maintenance crew needed to keep that station running. One of the other stations that require personnel is located in the center of this flat plain. It is the magnetic Mount Miru and the giant Whirlpool Sea surrounding it. I think that the Whirlpool Sea in combination with the magnetic Mount Miru is a huge electrical power plant. The great amount of energy needed to keep this terrarium farm running is produced and supplied by that Whirlpool Sea. It is needless to say that security personnel is also present in this huge petri dish of a world. The entire Antarctic Rim as well as the Arctic region are key places and are guarded by security staff specifically assigned with that task. I also believe that there is a department that is assigned with the task of taking samples from all kinds of creatures in order to assess their current state of being. Many cases of the so-called alien abductions could point to that. Abducting all sorts of creatures, including humans, is being done by a scientific kind of a department. People are being taken from different regions within this terrarium farm. They are being probed and examined in order to determine the status of their fertility, the levels of toxicity, etc. All that data is being collected and evaluated. I think that different kinds of measures are taken if or when the data shows that the productivity of this farming enterprise could be in jeopardy. So let me summarize my thoughts on what UFOs could be. The UFOs are the vessels of the personnel and in some cases the machinery from the departments which are responsible for the operating and maintaining of this huge terrarium shaped farm. I think that the different shapes of the UFOs can point to personnel and machinery belonging to different departments. In our society there are also departments that have different vehicles and machines in order to perform different tasks. The fire department, for example, has other vehicles than the police department. Let's also keep a few more things in mind which could explain the relatively high UFO activity that we see. All of these different departments have to transport their members of staff and their machinery from and to their workstations. Nobody works around the clock. There are different crews that come to work their shift and then they leave to make place for the crew of the next shift. I am also sure that each department has its own supervisors, inspectors, consultants and many other subdivisions, each of whom needs constant transport back and forth. 
let me also point out that the beings in these UFOs are not our creators. The creatures in the UFOs were also bioengineered, just like we were, to perform a specific task. The beings in the UFOs are well aware of the fact behind our existence. They know the purpose of this farm. They also know the evilness, the strictness and the power of the entities who created them and us. The creatures in the UFOs are just doing their jobs. They are working their shifts and they don't deviate from the tasks that they need to perform. We shouldn't expect that a UFO is going to land in the city square and some alien looking beings are going to come out and say hello humans. I am also sure that there are many other such worlds in close proximity to this one. I mean think about it. If our creators have the ability to build one, one such world, and they obviously do, then they have the ability to build two or ten or hundred more such terrarium farms. Transporting the needed personnel and machinery to and from other such facilities is nothing but normal and needs to be done by transport vehicles that are up for the task. This was it from me for now. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and comment. And remember to subscribe and to hit the notification bell. Be well. Bye.